What's up, you two? Zero here. Welcome to a place where gamers, witches, wizards, and superheroes unite. Today, you guessed it because you read the title. I hope you did anyway, but if you just click on this video, welcome to the Wizarding World unboxing video. And first note, this box is as big as a house. Okay, maybe not that big, but you can see how big it is compared to my head, my hand. I mean, look at my hand. Just... I'll put it on the front of the box for you to compare. This box is huge. It may actually have a house elf in here. Dobby's cousin may be in this box. I'm not sure. But this box is absolutely huge. Without further ado, let me open it up because I'm excited. I am excited with how big this box is. So as I'm opening up this ginormous box... If you do enjoy this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Mystery Box unboxing videos. I do a bunch of other videos, so check those out as well. Let's open it up and see all of the goodies inside. You can see there's a lot of stuff in this one. This thing's big. That's probably what's making the box so big. Maybe I'll save that for last. Let's, let's go with looks like what's a journal it's on top first and we have the gryffindor logo i'm pretty sure this was the house pride box or actually this may be the teacher's lounge bo lounge box it's been a while they've been backed up they keep blaming the united states postal service so i don't know but anyway we have a journal with the gryffindor logo on it of course my house is gryffindor so looks like nice red red design inside i like it and then we have our journal for writing purposes also have a pen a nice gold pen that actually says gilderoy lockhart on it if you guys can read that hopefully you can it says gilderoy lockhart on it and i wonder if that's what was in the corner it is so in the corner of the journal as well if you guys can read that it actually is signed gilderoy lockhart so we have a journal and pen which has the inscription of gilderoy lockhart i'm sure some of you love the amazing gilderoy lockhart who of course did a bunch of stuff have you read his books i mean he did a ton of stuff very famous wizard now let's go with the next one. Let's actually go with the t-shirt because it's right on top. The t-shirt, it is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. So let's take, the design is bigger than I thought it was going to be, not the t-shirt itself. So you can see here we have a McGonagall t-shirt. And what's highlighted is my house, which is Gryffindor. From the advertisement, depending upon your house would be which one was highlighted. And I was thinking about this, so you can see in the background of McGonagall, we have Harry, Ron, and Hermione. But what I was thinking would have been cool, not just having McGonagall and then each particular house highlighted, but I thought what would have been cool is having the head teacher of each house on here. So, for example, if you were... Slytherin, you would get a t-shirt that had Snape on it and your house highlighted. If you were a Ravenclaw, you would get Flitwick on here and have your house highlighted, etc. So I thought that would have been cool. I mean, this shirt's cool nonetheless. Of course, I'm a Gryffindor, so I love having McGonagall on here. But I thought that would have been cool if you were a Hufflepuff, Slytherin, or Ravenclaw, you would get your actual head house teacher on here instead of McGonagall, but it looked like they were giving out McGonagall on all of them and just highlighting the house that you're in. But let me know in the comments section if you like the way they did or if you would have preferred your teacher on the box. So we have, I don't know what this is for. This is in here. I don't know if it's supposed to be on anything or, but it's here. You guys can see it's just, that so I, I, it was in the box it's there anyway let's go with our hogwarts what looks like a large very large pencil case we have the nice hogwarts logo on here i see something on the outside let's see if i 
the Half Blood Prince. So we actually have the Half Blood Prince written here. So kind of cool. Looks like a pencil case. You also have a little carrying thing. You can actually probably make this into more than just a pencil case based off of how big it is. And inside we can see it looks like green and it looks like potions. We do have the Half Blood Prince on the outside. So something to do with Snape. He was the potions teacher. So this may actually be Snape's little bag. I mean, it's not a, it's, you could call it little, not that little. It's either a big pencil case or a bag that you can really just put a lot of stuff in. I kind of like using these bags to put my chargers in. And this is a really big one. So I could put my computer chargers in here, my phone chargers in here. So a really nice bag to have. I'm definitely going to utilize this for my chargers, especially when I'm transporting my laptop and my chargers on trips. So a really awesome bag. Let's get into the next item. And this is open. This is this may have been in here. It actually says spider comb. And we do have a comb here. So perhaps that's what this was for. Maybe it was supposed to be in here and it just came out like that while in transport. It didn't harm the spider comb. You can see here we have wizarding world on one side and then we have our spider face on the other. So it is a comb. A small comb that you can probably transport with. So that's a nice item. I could comb my beard a little bit. Maybe pull it back a little bit. Just get my beard neat for the rest of the video. How do y'all think? You don't think it worked? I don't think so. I, I don't know. Maybe it did. Maybe it combed it a little bit. Anyway, a nice spider comb. Beard comb. Looking pretty fancy now. Let's see what we have left. I think, actually, we have the pin, and then we have this big, huge, huge box. Let's open up. It's like a mystery within a mystery, because we got the mystery box. Then we got another mystery box. Let's see if it's a house elf. It might be a house elf. Let's take a look. It looks like, it looks like a dish set. Ah! My dear, you have the Grimm. So this is hand wash only. Do not microwave if you wanted to microwave it. Unfortunately, you have the Grimm and you are unable to wash this as well. Probably worse than death having to hand wash stuff instead of using the dishwasher. But it looks like we also have a cup with the Grimm inside. So we have a nice little tea set here. We have our cup with the Grimm inside, and we have a plate that says, my dear, you have the Grimm. So this is an absolutely awesome item. Really cool that we get a glass with the Grimm in it, and then a plate to hold it that also tells us that we have the Grimm putting us into the movies. That's pretty cool as well. Unfortunately, you do have to hand wash and you can't put it in the microwave, but it is a nice, little tea set nonetheless so that's what was taken up but i don't think there's anything else in here it looks like that was it just the foam piece and now that it's getting everywhere let's put it back in the box so that was a nice piece last but not least we actually have the pin and then we have the cheat sheet so let's take this pin out and see what cool pin we got normally wizarding world does a great job with its pins. So let's take a look at the pin and I'm gonna show you inside the box so you can kind of see it. It has candles, which is pretty cool inside the box. Let's take a look at the pin and look, we have Hogwarts. Magical place, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So an amazing pin of Hogwarts. That's pretty cool. Nice pin as always. I love the pins that they do. All of the wizarding boxes have really been killing it on the pins recently. For those of you who don't know, I also do the Akio box and they've been absolutely killing it on the pins. Wizarding World kills it on the pins as well. So now let's go over the cheat sheet and then I can tell you what item was my favorite. So number one, Snape Potions Dot Kit. 
keep all your toiletry concoctions safe in this potions theme bag. So it's more of a toiletry bag that you can keep all of your grooming products. I'm going to keep my chargers in there. So it's a Snape chargers dot kit. Hogwarts House Minerva McGonagall t-shirt. So again, like I was explaining, you have McGonagall on each of the t-shirts. And then depending upon your house, you have that house colored. So mine was Gryffindor for the red. Then we have the house journal with the Gilderoy Lockhart signature pen. So depending upon what house you were in looks like is the different color of the journal. Mine, of course, is Gryffindor. So you also have your house's logo on there so slytherin has the snake hufflepuff has the honey badger and then ravenclaw has the raven and then you have the spider comb brush out your beard look at that i was using it correctly or your hair with this comb inspired by hagrid then you have the grim teacup absolutely fantastic and then the hogwarts pin of course now let me know in the comments section what your favorite item from the box was. Was it the tea set? Pretty cool item. Was it the pin? Was it the shirt? Because the shirt. Pretty cool that it specified what house you were in. Was it the nice toiletry bag? Let me know in the comments section what your favorite item was. Mine in this one, not including the pin of course because I'm a pin collector, always my favorite. I'm actually going to go with the tea set on this one. This is actually really cool. It throws you into the world of Harry Potter. You get the Grim Cup with the plate that says, my dear, you have the Grim. I think that's an absolutely fantastic item to have. But we had a lot of cool items in this box. And inside the box, you can see we have a bunch of candles. So that's pretty cool as well. Let me know in the comments section what your favorite item was. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and until next time, peace.